Relying on a machine or process control system that is based on old or obsolete automation equipment is risky, but stopping production to install a new system is not always possible or affordable. Typically, the PLC is the heart of an automation system, and replacing it can be a major disruption, requiring reprogramming and often changes to many other system components and communication networks. It's often better to do a phased migration, where you can change the most troublesome items first. Most times, these are peripheral components, such as HMIs, computers, drives, robots, and the like. Some of the advantages of a phased migration include time savings. Taking smaller bytes means less re-engineering at each phase of the upgrade. This also means less machine or system downtime, enabling continued ability to manufacture your product. By only changing a few products, there is less risk of problems during startup. It's also easier to go back to the old configuration if necessary. Implementing an upgrade over time often means funding approval is easier, allowing use of maintenance budgets instead of all the steps required for a large capital program. If only certain components are problematic, you can focus on those and leave the rest of the system in place. With a new PLC, this may not be possible. Even the most obsolete I.O. is typically plentiful in the surplus market, and not having to rewire is a big savings in cost and labor. And training needs are lessened with incremental changes. So you've decided to do a phased migration and keep the old PLC in operation for now. The next thing to consider is making sure you can maintain that PLC. Having PLC software that will run on modern PCs is a key factor. Rockwell Automation has discontinued or raised the price and support costs for their software. But SoftPLC Corporation still provides our top doc software for Allen Bradley PLC2, PLC5, and PLC3, and it runs on Windows 10. Say you've decided to first upgrade a peripheral, like an HMI, drive, robot, or scale. You've done your research and selected the new product. But now, the issue is how to connect the new peripherals to the old PLC. Many old Allen Bradley PLCs only support the proprietary and obsolete communication protocols of Data Highway Plus and Allen Bradley Remote I.O., also known collectively as Blue Hose. New peripheral products do not support these old protocols. A great solution is to use the Soft PLC Gateway as a bridge between the old and the new networks. The PLC communicates to the Soft PLC Gateway as if it were the old peripheral, with no changes required to hardware or software. The new peripheral communicates to the Soft PLC Gateway as if it were a modern PLC. The Soft PLC Gateway manages the protocol conversion. Typical protocol converters bridge between two communication networks and many vendors provide simple protocol converter products. However, unlike open standard networks such as Modbus or Ethernet IP, protocol converters that support the AB Bluehost protocols of Remote I.O. and Data Highway Plus are limited to just a few options, and those have limited functionality. SoftPLC gateways, however, are the best solution for phased migrations. More than just a simple protocol converter, SoftPLC gateways provide network flexibility, virtually unlimited capacity, data management, and much more. Let's look in detail at just a few of the ways SoftPLC gateways can be used. First will be a general overview of an application type. This will be followed by a description of a real-world installation that demonstrates how one of our customers benefited from the power of SoftPLC gateways. In this application, the machine has old or obsolete drives connected to an Allen Bradley PLC on a remote I.O. network. Examples would be 1336, 1395, 1397, or PowerFlex drives. The goal is to replace the drives, but not the PLC. Regardless of the drive vendor, such as Siemens, ABB, Rockwell Automation, or Jeffran, or communication networks, Ethernet IP, Modbus TCP, or Modbus Serial, 
a soft PLC gateway can be used to bridge between the PLC and the new drive. The soft PLC gateway is used to map from the original remote I.O. bits and parameters to the addresses and tags for the new drive and network. The Allen Bradley PLC doesn't require changes. A real-world example is this newspaper operation that needed to upgrade their presses. The 1336 drives were failing and were not able to be repaired or replaced. Each press had three drives. The customer selected Bardak drives as the replacement product. Each drive was originally mapped as a remote I.O. rack to the PLC-5. A single soft PLC gateway was installed to mimic those racks on each press, and it then sent and received the data to and from the new Bardak drives using Modbus TCP. With logic in the soft PLC gateway, the values in the data arrays from the old to the new drive were reordered, eliminating the need to make any changes in the PLC-5s. SoftPLC gateways can be used with drives from just about any vendor, and SoftPLC Corporation has partnerships with a number of drive vendors to provide migration solutions that require minimal effort to configure. Distributed and process control system upgrades are major projects. Many old DCS systems utilized Allen Bradley Remote I.O., with the controller being PLC-5s, a PLC-3, or a process control system that had a remote I.O. interface. In these upgrade applications, the new DCS runs the control logic and provides the SCADA and operator interface functions. It sends and receives the I.O. data via the soft PLC gateway, which acts as a master interface to the Allen Bradley Remote I.O. racks. Even the largest systems can be upgraded, as the soft PLC can support up to 64 remote I.O. drops per gateway. This customer application was to replace an Allen Bradley based distributed control system with Siemens products, but the customer wanted to implement a phased migration to minimize downtime and spread out the expenditures. In phase one, the goal was to replace the RSView SCADA system and five PanelView HMIs on Data Highway Plus with Ethernet-based Siemens SCADA and PC-based HMIs. The customer also wanted to replace some obsolete 1770 KF2B Data Highway Plus interfaces that connected other equipment in the plant. A soft PLC gateway provided support for the two Data Highway Plus networks to all the PLC-5s and other equipment, mapping the data to the Modbus TCP Ethernet communications to the DCS and HMIs. In Phase 2, the PLC-5 CPUs were replaced with remote I.O. adapters. The control logic was moved up to the DCS. Soft PLC gateways acted as Allen Bradley remote I.O. masters that allowed the DCS to control the Allen Bradley 1771 I.O. racks via Ethernet. Phase 3 will be to replace the I.O. with Siemens product. Some projects are to expand the existing system rather than replace components. One example would be to add more I.O. or peripherals using non-obsolete or non-Allen Bradley products. Another example would be to connect other products to the Allen Bradley PLC system, such as other PLCs or peripherals. In this example, the existing system was controlled by a PLC-5. It also incorporated a Mitsubishi PLC and another black box controller designed by a stamping press OEM. It was mandated by OSHA to add safety equipment to the manufacturing line. The customer did not want to replace or re-engineer the PLC-5. They did, however, want to take the opportunity to replace the obsolete Ethernet sidecar modules in both PLCs, update the HMI, and enhance the line speed and product quality by improving the communications between the PLC-5 and the press controller. A soft PLC gateway achieved all their objectives. The PLC-5 was near its capacity in both logic memory and I.O. racks. Using Data Highway Plus for communication to and from the PLC-5 was ruled out due to speed concerns. So the soft PLC gateway was configured as the remaining two I.O. racks allowed. However, this was not enough data space to support all the communications required. Again, due to speed concerns, block transfer was not an option. So the data transfers to and from the PLC-5 were multiplexed using logic in the soft PLC gateway, 
giving higher priority and more frequent transfers to the most critical data. The press controller communications via Modbus Serial worked well, except a few words of data critical to operation of the system needed to be transmitted every scan to the PLC-5. SoftPLC Corporation and the press controller manufacturer jointly developed a simple custom ASCII protocol using a second serial port on both the press controller and the SoftPLC gateway for those words. As part of the SoftPLC gateway multiplexing logic, that data was embedded in every remote I.O. packet sent to the PLC-5. The customer opted for Siemens safety PLCs, which communicated to the SoftPLC gateway via Modbus TCP. A new Ethernet module for the Mitsubishi system also used Modbus TCP. The new HMI application connected to the gateway via Allen Bradley Ethernet protocol and was able to access every controller on the line via the SoftPLC Gateway's data table. Five protocols in a single gateway, tying data from multiple vendors' products together with extremely fast response time. No other protocol converter could have accomplished this. Another common application is to replace an HMI that had an obsolete blue hose interface with a new Ethernet connected system. The new HMI can be from virtually any vendor and can be a simple low cost HMI, a PC based system, or other interface. With the flexibility of soft PLC gateways, the new interface can connect on a variety of communication networks, such as Ethernet IP, Modbus TCP, Modbus Serial, DF1, and others. Although panel view upgrades are the most common we encounter, this customer was upgrading a system that used an Eaton Cutler Hammer PanelMate HMI. The original HMI was connected via Data Highway Plus to a SLC 504. Like many old HMIs, the touchscreen was starting to have issues and was no longer easily readable, and the Data Highway Plus interface was no longer available from the vendor. A soft PLC gateway was installed to convert the Allen Bradley Ethernet communication from the new HMI to the Data Highway Plus for the SLC 504. The customer elected to use a SoftPLC Web Studio HMI, which provided an added benefit that the PanelMate program could be automatically converted, saving the time and cost of re-engineering the 100 screen application. Incidentally, SoftPLC Web Studio can also import and convert panel view and factory talk applications. The second phase of this application was to replace the SLC 500 system. The SoftPLC gateway, which is in fact a SoftPLC controller, was repurposed to control the new I.O. The SLC 500 logic was automatically converted to run in the SoftPLC, again saving the time and cost of re-engineering, testing, and allowing for the startup with only a few hours system downtime to install the new equipment. These examples illustrate just a few of the uses and benefits of SoftPLC gateways, and why we confidently believe that SoftPLC gateways are the most flexible, highest performance options for Allen Bradley migrations. Now let's take a quick look at some of the gateway products offered by SoftPLC Corporation. The NeoPack is a low cost option suitable for most simple applications. It has one Ethernet port one RS-485 port and two USB ports, and one blue hose port. The Smart Soft PLC is a powerhouse solution, loaded with an Ethernet switch, up to four serial ports, and up to two blue hose ports. All models allow users to configure the ports for up to 16 communication drivers simultaneously. You can mix and match multiple Ethernet, serial, blue hose, and other protocols in the same gateway. Some additional features of all models include application logic for data manipulation, such as scaling, changing order of data in blocks, and so forth, data concentration, network communications diagnostics, specialty functions like recipes or reports, data and event logging to local disks or drives, or to remote cloud databases via wireless or cellular. 
Embedded web server or HMI options allow you to use a browser to see data, faults, and so forth, or email or text alarms, or view reports. South PLC gateways are made in the USA and are stocked at our Texas headquarters. Contact us for more information or to discuss your Allen Bradley migration or other automation applications. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.